Today we're going to be making patterned paper for our artist's trading cards. So, to begin, you need potato. We're going to need an adult to help us with a knife. Your artist could also use a plastic knife or a butter knife. A cutting board, something to put your paint on. I have a bunch of paints right here. I picked out some colors and some paper. So, to begin, I'm going to put my stamps aside. I'm going to take a potato and I'm going to cut a small section off. So, I have this blank I have this blank potato canvas. I'm going to go ahead and cut a triangle on this one. So to do so, we're going to take our knife and I'm just going to cut down a little bit. I don't want to cut all the way through my potato. To cut that piece off, I'm going to cut down the potato like this until I reach where that was and I can snap that little piece off. So we have that cut piece of potato now. And then I have a bowl for my scraps. So I'm gonna throw my scraps in a bowl, then I'm gonna cut at a different angle for the next little piece. I'm gonna cut lining up so that I have this little corner of my triangle. I'm gonna do the same thing, cut the edge, take it off, and then I'm gonna connect the two ends of my triangle Cut that little piece off. There's one, one triangle, put it next to the other one. I'm gonna cut my potato again. You can cut these pretty thin. You just need to be able to grab onto the edge when you're stamping. So I'm gonna take this next one and let's go ahead and do a rectangle on this one. So I'm gonna cut my edges. Again, collecting my scraps. There's another rectangle. I'm gonna cut another piece. For this one, let's go ahead and do a star. So, what you could do is you could draw your star first with a pen. So, I'm gonna, you can do the classic lines. I'm not really, I'm just like making little indents on my potato so I know where I want my lines to go. All right, we see these lines. Then I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna cut along those lines, just the outside ones. Then it's a little harder to cut the extra piece off, but you're still gonna cut in from the side. Voila, take that piece off. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And you can really do anything on these potatoes. You just have to draw it out on the edge, on this flat end, and then have somebody help you cut it out. We have these pieces. I'm gonna cut right here. And then my scraps go in the scraps. All right, and then I have this one that's just a circle. Instead of cutting out a circle, I wanna keep this shape so that I have those organic forms around the edges. And I have another one here. And then I did another one where I just took my knife. I'll show you on this one. And I like dug it out. So I'm gonna have like this rough circle shape, but then there's parts cut out. So whatever you cut away from the potato isn't going to be showing. So for that one, I just dug my knife in and kind of like I'm coring it, I just twisted the potato around and voila, you have a circle. All right, so I just have my sketchbook open and I'm gonna practice some of my printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my star. And to dip this, I'm just gonna put it down like a little stamp into my yellow, hold that down. We have some paint on there and then I'm gonna press it down onto my piece of paper, lift it up, and we got a little star. And then I can do the same thing. See, we got a little star. And you can get a couple prints. Notice, as you press more, the print gets lighter. So you get a little bit 
lighter as you go and you can get a different effect with your stars depending if you want a ton of paint if you want it thinner you could press on a different piece of paper and then on your final product so I'm going to do a couple You want to press down, get even ones. want to try printing with multiple colors I can dip my star like along the edges so I'm gonna press a little bit like that I don't have the yellow all over it then I'm gonna mix it with this orange Let's see. and I'm gonna add a little bit of red along those edges Let's see. So this is what it looks like before I print it I'm gonna press up And my stars have a different thing. So we can try that again. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to do some blue. A little bit of purple. And let's do some red. Alright. I'm going to take it, press. And I... So you can get some difference in here. You can mix your colors. You can create a little like tie-dye effect. And then with these, you can dip it again in another color. Let's do some green, yellow, and blue. How about that? Let's get a little more blue. And you just keep practicing your stamping. Let's do another one of these. Let's make this sky red. Edges. Let's do you here. Ta-da! That's what we got. So now we're going to take our stamps and make patterned paper. So I collected some construction paper I had around the house and some white paper as well. You can use whatever colors you want or paper as well, different sizes. I'm going to press my potatoes into different colors of paint and create multiple impressions of it onto my piece of paper. Notice how I can overlap my stamps and create different orientations and color schemes. So I went ahead and matched my paint colors with the paper that I was using. Now you've created a piece of pattern art. I'm going to cut up my paper into small cards or trading cards that are gonna be two and a half by three and a half inches. The more patterned paper you make, the more cards you can make. This is what one of my trading cards looked like. I put my name and something that I like about art in the description.